Hi, it's Anna. Welcome to Rohani Wellness Center. Thank you so much for joining me today for the medicinal dances. I'm sure this is going to be an amazing practice in this beautiful day. So really quickly, a few tips that are going to help you take the most out of this dance is, first of all, move like you. Move like no one's watching. It's really not about how it looks. It's really about can you allow yourself to express fully and to incorporate new ways of moving and of being present by drinking in the different elements of nature. So you can take this as simple as you like. You can just move and have fun. Or you can use this as a practice for deeper self-knowledge, observing what element um, is more natural to you, what element you feel like you need to embody a little bit more. And, and just really observe that through through the experience. So it's not through overanalyzing with your mind what's happening, but really just observing, just move and without judgment, just notice what's going on. Especially in the last part in the ether, just really notice if you're able to to get to that space of really being quiet, of really being still uh, with the internal currents of the mind. Then a few uh, suggestions and a few things for your physical safety. Always listen to your body. If something doesn't feel right, if you feel like something is not necessarily working for your body, there are many modifications you can do. Uh, try different ways. Again, it's not about how it looks, it's about how it feels. So stay with the concept behind every element. Stay with the idea of activating your inner fire, so inner heat, cardio, heart beating, in the earth, you want to stabilize your muscles in the water, you want to relax and release your joints in the air, you want to really not think about anything, you want to allow yourself to be free and to move more spontaneously. So stay with the concepts, if something doesn't feel good in your body, again, don't do it, modify, listen to yourself. So let's start warming up, separate your feet, take your toes out, move from side to side, and then take a deep squat, bend your knees, inhale, hands up into the sky, exhale, stretch the legs, arms down, inhale, squat, exhale, stretch, one more, and stretch, inhale, up, hold, take the left forearm into your leg, inhale, back to center, exhale, right forearm, lean to the right, stretch, inhale, back to center, stretch your legs, move it from side to side, Squat and begin to crunch those obliques from side to side. So we're beginning to warm up our core, warming up our center, our third chakra, our fire lives within us. The center of our power, inhale, stretch your hands up into the sky. Exhale, hinge forward from the hips, knees micro bend and pulse up and down. Inhale up, turn to the right, lean forward and pulse up here. Strengthening the lumbar spine, inhale, come all the way up. Other side, toes to the left. Remember, you're hinging from the pelvis. The low back is with its natural curves. Inhale, come up. Exhale to the center. Spools in here. Remember, knees micro bend. And then lower all the way down. Move from side to side. Whatever feels good to you here, whatever rhythm is yours. Remember, this is about you. Inhale, come all the way up. Narrow your stance. Circle your left ankle, your left knee. Reverse the direction of the circles, warming up the joints, other side, right ankle, right knee. Reverse the direction. Now the hip, right hip. Moving it around, left hip. Now finish the warm up. Whatever movements feel good to you here, maybe some pelvis circles stretching up, because now we're ready to begin with fire. Okay, come on, light your body up. Jumping jacks, out, in, out, in. For a low impact version, just step out with one leg and then the other. Otherwise, keep jumping. Let's get your heart rate moving. Now, slight change, open. Take your right knee, open, close, open, left knee, open, close, open, right. Open, close, open, left knee, open, close, open, right knee. You got this. Center and left knee, center and right knee, center and left knee, center, you got this, right, open, close, and left, last one to each side, come on, high knee, and center for eight, you got this, keep going, breathe, 
Last one, center. We go back to the knees. Center and right knee. Open, close, open, left. Open, close, open, right. Open, close, open, left. Open, close, open, right. You've got this. You got it. Right knee. Fire up to center. Let it burn, let it burn. Prepare last knee. Open, left. Open, close, open, right. Open, close, open, left. Open, close, open, right. Open, close, open, left. Last knee. Take it in and run it here like the floor is on fire. You're burning your feet. You're on fire. Keep it burning as I show you the next move. So it's a burpee variation. Three, two, one. Plank, open, close, center up. Down, plank, open, close, center up. Now you do it at your own pace. Come on, you've got this. Plank, open, close, center up. Plank, open, close, center up. And run it off. And kick your heels forward. Keep the heart rate up. Just kick, 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 and change is coming. We're gonna step to the right. One, two, three, knee. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. So it's step, step, knee. Step, step, knee. Step, step, knee. Step, step, knee. And you can do it faster. Knees higher. You're jumping higher, taking your arms down and down, using your core to squeeze in. Squeezing one, two, three, 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 and center. Kick your heels and we're gonna pendle. So taking the legs out to the sides, you go right, left, right, left, right, left. Now arms, right, left, right, left. Using your obliques to get that activation. Moving to the sides and we go one, one, two, stop. One, two, stop. One, two, stop. One, two, higher. One, two, higher. So you're sitting back to lift the leg high. One, two, and high. One, two, and high. One, two, and high. One, two, and high. One, two, go higher. Sit back. High. One, two, up. One, two, last. And center. Prepare for those steps. We're gonna do one, two, knee. You ready? And go. One, two, knee. 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 Bring your knees higher. Use your arms. Engage your core. You're using the central power of your soul. It's your personal essence. You got this. Go. Last knee and center. Kick your heels. Last few rounds and you're done. So this is for you to fire it all up. This is just six minutes of cardio so far. Pendle, pendle, pendle. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Stay here or at your arms. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. We're going to add that pause. Whenever you're ready and one, un, dos, tres. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's go higher. Let's go higher. One, two, high. One, two, high. You've got this, burn it up. You've got this, burn it more. And one, two, three. And center. Now I promise you, you won't regret this. Two more times. Move it, shake it out. Get ready for those knees. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, knee. One, two, knee. I know. Imagine the floor is burning, cultivating inner fire. Explode whatever is not serving you. And center. Pendle. Pendle. As you pendle, catch your breath. You can stay here or we can go with arms. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. You can go high. You can go higher. Remember, you hinge back to lift the leg higher. Now we're gonna turn and three. One, two, three. And turn and three. One, two, three. And turn and pause. One, two, three. And turn. We're only playing. Reverse. One, two, kick out. One, two, kick. One, two, three. And pendle center. Pendle center. Get the energy from the earth so you can keep it going. So you can keep the inner fire. Kick your heels. 
We're going to do those knees one more time. Get ready. One, two, three. One, two, knee. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's burning. It's fire. This is how it's supposed to be. It's combustion. Make it happen within. How much fire do you have inside? Last pendle. And I promise you, last one. Maybe at the arms. One, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Maybe go high. One, two, high. And pause. Release. Now it's your time to move like you. Burn it like you do. Free your fire. There is no right or wrong way to take this highway. It's only your way. Fire is vitality, it's active, it's energetic. It's about being sure about yourself, it's about self-affirmation. It's about letting that internal feeling of knowing who you are come out into the world. Be decisive, be you. Release it if you haven't, let go of your hair, let go of any cares, let go and commit to combustion of any mental, emotional, physical thing that is really not necessary, that really just needs to go. Burn it off. Thirty seconds left of fire. Feel the heartbeat, allow the fire to stay, but cool it down a little bit. We're bringing it down to earth. Separate your feet, turn your left toes out, bend that knee. Push your feet down and towards you to stabilize. And we're gonna go to Archer Warrior. Extend your left hand forward, look at a point and push into it. So staccato movement, look at a point and get it through. Your right hand goes to that point. Find different ways of getting to that same point. Last one. Come back to center. Keep the warrior hands on your hips. Lean back to your right side. Just activating those obliques, but keeping the side body long. Take the arch and then lean back, pulling with your right arm. Left hand points to that what you really want. Transitioning in this archer warrior between fire and earth. You're stable yet you are one-pointed and decisive. Release, time for leg lifts. Bring your right foot closer, left hand on top of your left thigh. Left heel points in the direction that you're lifting. Right arm to the sky, and we're gonna lift the right leg, crunching through the side abdominals of your right side. 
Your left arm can be extended, and from here we crunch up, creating stability in the muscles of your leg, your hip, and your core. There's a lot going on. We need to be stable. On this last one, stay up. Lift. Hold. And lean to the left. You can take your left hand on the floor or a block. Right leg pulses. Up. Very steady, controlled movements like earth, stabilizing your hips more. Root down through your left leg. Bend the knees. Super stable. Land back. Feet parallel, hands up, open up to the right, right toes open, warrior two. Feet press down and into each other, again, stable. Arch your arms, pull back with your left hand, look at a point, and go for it. And look at it, and go. That pulling back is important so that you don't snap your elbow. So you look at it, and go pull back. And go pull back. Look at it, and go pull and release your arch coming back to center side crunches to the left remember you're not squeezing you're long and then lean to the side just activating the obliques a little bit stabilizing creating foundation now take that sagittarius arch lean back and release the arrow to what really matters to you combining the foundation of earth and the one-pointed desire of this full moon in sagittarius Release. Ready to create more stability. Narrow your stance. Take your right hand to your right thigh. Left hand to the side and crunch. You can take your right arm to the side as well for more challenge. And crunch. Maybe left arm goes up and crunch. This is for stability. This is for cultivating that grounding energy that earth can give you. Crunch it up. Last three, two, one, hold. Hold, hold, hold. Stay here or lean into that right hand. Pause. Stabilize your hips, belly in. Left hand to the hip, right knee bend and pulse. Leg lift. Super sharp flex in your left foot. You move like earth. You're solid, you're stable, you're accurate. Bend your right knee and softly land, stable and slow like earth. Parallel feet, prepare to lean forward, hinging from the hips, hands down and walk it forward. Again, playing with gravity, taking your ribs in and then pushing the earth away from you as you go back. Feel your way as you crawl forward into that plank. And now play, bend your elbows, maybe bend one elbow, release one hand, bend one knee. Just playing with gravity and slowly taking it to a free exploration of your relationship to the element of earth. Now as a suggestion for this free exploration, you can play around with the stability that we've been working on. Transferring the weight from one foot to the other observing the very accurate, precise, planned movements as you travel through space, taking your weight from one foot to the other. Steady movements. They have beginnings and endings. Your muscles hug your bones and you move precisely. Feel safe in this predictable movements and the stability of a good foundation.
Remember staccato movements that have beginnings and clear endings, clear boundaries, stable. Maybe explore getting closer to the floor and feeling your hands in the earth like you can pick it up, like you can tell what's underneath the floor, that you can feel the soil, like your hands can search for the seeds that are hidden under the surface that you're touching. You have the right to be here, to be solid, to be stable. So get that security, become your own roots. Notice through these moves, if you are already full of boundaries that you need to let go, or if you need to create more so that you have some sense of predictability and stability. And if moving in the same way gets you bored, then maybe you need earth to teach you discipline so that you can be stable for yourself.
gather the rest of the energy that you might need from the earth to be stable, to be grounded. Last 30 seconds of earth. I am solid. I am stable. I am dense. Softly allow the solidity to begin to melt away and give way to water. Relax in the muscles, relax in the pressure of the skin around them, and tap it into a liquid form. Take your right arm to the side, and we're going to do internal and external rotations. In the palm goes down, out the palm goes up. And you're moving from your shoulder blade. So when you take your palm up, external rotation, you root your shoulder blade out and then in. Out, root your shoulder blade and then in. Adding water to your shoulder and melting that joint. Extend the palm and then take it in like there's a wave coming to you, look away and then put it in, internal rotation, palm facing up and come back external rotation palm faces up the wave comes in you're catching the rain with your palm and then external rotation wave comes in shoulder in palm up and rotate when the wave comes in you look away then the palm is up you're catching the rain and then spiral it all the way up and inhale wave catch the rain let it spiral up release other arm and left goes out and in and out moving from your shoulder blade feel the melting of your shoulder relax your jaw and move it creating space and take it out palm up the wave comes in take the shoulder in catch the rain push it away external rotation use that spiral and in Catch the rain, a spiral all the way, two more times, catch the wave, catch the rain, let it spiral all the way, there's no ending like water, bring it in, catch the rain, and spiral all the way, palm up, now fluid, make it happen, there's a wave and it takes your body with it and go. Just like water, it starts and it never ends. The rest of your body just melts into the movement and follows. Really shake it off. Now let's melt the chest. Push the back of your hands forward, we're rounding your upper spine. Then push your hands back behind you, you're flexing your wrists like you're pushing on a table, heart up ribs in so it's not the pelvis coming forward it's just your upper back that's moving so you round forward upper back chest upper back rounds chest up upper back rounds chest and release move your shoulders around now pelvis melting you tuck release tuck release if you have any pain in your low back then do this really small if you want more, bend the knees, push forward. So we're going to bend the knees and then forward. Then tuck your tailbone and then send that spiral into your heart. So knees, pelvis, heart. Knees, pelvis, heart. So it can be super small, very short. I just want you to feel the wave that comes through your entire body from your knees. Or you can do it bigger and bigger and bigger and then you can even add the arms that we were doing before so you bend and round and push away bend and round push away bend and round pelvis heart push away bend pelvis heart push away and move it like you release let it go let's stretch the sides so lean to one side and then the other and we're gonna bring some water to the hips and the psoas so you're hiking one hip up Pushing it down, hiking it up, pushing it down. So it's about getting length and stretching. So you have that 
liquidity feeling. So you lift one heel to hike that hip and then lower the heel, lower the hip, another side. So you hike up and focus on the push down. Hike up, focus on the pushing down. Your arms can be in front of you, moving like waves accompanying this motion, or whatever feels good to you. Now this water falls to your hips. We're going to open them more. Separate your legs and draw an infinity pattern with your sit bones on the floor. So when you move to one side, you also lift that hip up a little and then the other. You can also imagine you're pulling your hips with strings. Very fluid. And now lasso a stretch. Turn to your left side, lift the right heel. Tuck your tailbone and lengthen to that front side of your right body. Lift the right hand up into the sky. And other side. Turn to your right, lift the left heel, tuck. Inhale, left hand up into the sky. And as you tuck, you're really getting length in that front side of your body. Come to center, feet parallel. Inhale deeply, exhale, lean forward. Cascade all the way down. Your legs are still stable and your torso waves from side to side. Melting your hands into the floor like your form is going to disappear. And so you also melt the structure of this design dance and you begin to move like you. Allowing your free flow of water to be the most freest movement you've done. The most fluid, whatever feels good to you. There is no thought. There is no right or wrong. Again, with water, it's about releasing. It's really about allowing the currents of your blood, of the internal liquids to move you around. Be formless. Allow yourself to be spilled in the floor. Allow your mind to also have no form so that you can breathe a little bit deeper into being present from a different you, a more melted and undefined version. And let this formless you move. Just move. Dive into the metaphors of your emotional body and flow into them a little bit deeper. Allow things to appear. Allow emotions to flow out of your system and let them move you. Enjoy the melting process and allow water to be healing.
Enjoy this last set of waves that are coming towards you and the high tide that also moves you. Last big wave, let it take you. And now you come out of the ocean to the surface and catch some air because this is where we're going, air. And we're going to take it to this more playful, creative movement of air and formless becomes ecstatic, it becomes expansive. So imagine something is pulling you from one hip and then the other. And then you're being pulled and pulled and this pulling gets bigger and bigger. So it's like you're being moved by something greater and just like a feather in the air, you're being tossed around from your hips. There's no control. There's just the game. Life becomes light and playful. And with our hands, we're going to swing. So back and forward, releasing the joint in our shoulders where we carry the weight of the world. Maybe kick your feet forward. But don't control it. Do whatever is more natural to you. Swing from side to side. You're tossing your arms around. And air is the lack of control. It's the opposite. It's your arms go and they take you. So you toss your arms around and maybe you spin and maybe the other side. So your arms go and then they take you and you just follow. Expand through space, move the feet out of the square meter, break it and get out of the comfort zone. Now legs, swing it forward and back, no control. You can stay here or we're going to kick in, open the knee, land with the knee bent, kick in. Open the knee and let that impulse land you wherever. There's no control to where you land. It doesn't matter. If you're thinking if this is right or wrong, you're in earth. This is air. It doesn't matter. Do whatever you want to do. Another side. Swing it back and forward. Back and forward. Back and forward. Releasing the joint. Letting it go. No control. And then kick it in. Knee out and land. Kick it in. Kick it out. Just kick and let the swing make you land wherever. So it's about knowing that we can land wherever. And then move this around in space. The idea of throwing the leg and landing wherever. Playing with it. Again, it's about fun and it's about traveling through space. Expanding like air. Taking up space. And then swing your arms. Throw your hip. And take it to your free flow. Create, play, fall, and get back up.
Now we're going to begin to mix it all up. So in this flow of tossing and throwing, maybe you can add some stability and some earth back to it. Remember with those staccato, really accurate movements with a lot of discipline and control. Or perhaps you can add some fire and then shake it around and move and light it up and get your legs going and flowing like the floor is on fire. And then maybe add some water and some fluidity to whatever it is that you're feeling. Allow any element that is right now coming to you to possess you and to move you and then mix it all up. This is your free flow, so keep these songs, put your own playlist, whatever allows you to move like you for a few more minutes. We have one more song to allow yourself to be a spirit in motion. Let your body be the doorway and the metaphors in the movement to be the key. What is your body telling you about who you are, what you feel, and who you are becoming? Let the elements be the teachers that guide you through this journey.
This is the last minute. Let it come through, whatever happens. Begin to find an ending to your medicinal dance. And now we're going to drink it all in by pausing with whatever came through. Stay here in this internal place where there is space. This is ether. Like there is excess of time. Come into a comfortable position. You can be laying down or sitting. And take your awareness in the space between your ears. Pause in this space and allow this void and the awareness of it to take over your whole experience. There is nothing more but the awareness of the space between your ears and your breath. Notice where your awareness is, and if you left, come back. Come back to your breath and to the space between your ears.
Come back into the awareness of your physical body. Notice how you feel. Notice where you're at. You're here now. Inhale, take your hands up and above your head. Stretch. And exhale, release your right hand. Walk it away from you and stretch your left side. Inhale, deeply come back to center. Take your left hand on the floor. Stretch your right side body, breathing in deeply. And exhale, coming back to center. Take both hands forward. As forward as it feels good to you. Breathe into your low back, creating space and lengthening. And slowly come all the way up. Change the cross of your legs. And again, take your hands forward. Bringing space to this amazing vessel that allowed you to have this experience. And walk your hands back. Take your ribs in and twist from your ribs to your left. And walk your hands to the left, stretching the right side of your back. Breathing to that space. And walk your hands to the other side. Stretching now the left side of your low back. Breathing into that low back on the left side. And inhale, come back to center. Stretch your right leg in front of you. Take your left leg in, inner thigh back. Toes pointing up. Twist from your torso. Inhale. Exhale, lean forward. Again, as far as it feels good to you. Breathe in and out here. Adjust your body. Make it feel good. You're still in your body. You're still breathing. You're here now. Inhale, come up. Switch the legs. Thighs back. Twist from your rib cage. And slowly walk it forward. Breathe in and out deeply. Allowing all of the elements that you worked to stay in your body, to seal this work that you did. Inhale, come all the way up. Cross your legs again. Let's relax the neck. Take the ear towards your right shoulder. Maybe take your right hand on top and walk your left hand away from you. You're not pressing. You're just gently laying the weight. Catch behind the head and release. Other side, left ear to the left shoulder. Place your left hand, stretch your right hand away, catch behind the head, look down, and release. Hands forward, palms up, fingertips towards you, stretching the wrists, then the back of the hands maybe on the floor, and do little fists and stars with your hands here. Mm. Shake your hands off, inhale, hands up into the sky. Exhale, hands to the center of your heart. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a lot of fun. I hope you got what you were looking for. This is an offering for you. Take the elements with you for the rest of your day, for the rest of your week. Really embody whatever you realize today that you want to bring into your life. Until we dance again.